Pixar for like four years. Yeah, four years. Um, well, last year, this year, I accomplished a whole lot. Um, I graduated in June. Um, and it was very tough because the stuff that I like, the type of goals that I had um, set ahead of me, it was really hard to achieve them. I had some ups and downs, and one of my goals was to become a CNA. And I remember when I had so many temptations while I was in high school. I'm pretty sure Richard knows all of them. Um, <laughs> you know. But um, I got my CNA license, and yeah, and um, <clears throat> I'm planning to go to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll be going to PVCC and then transferring to a four year college, hopefully JMU or maybe UVA, I don't know. But I'm pushing for JMU because I'm a grad. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's not a thing. Yeah, but thank you for. Abundant Life and Rob. Rob had a whole, he was busy as well. He was busy trying to move to his new house and he also had a baby, you know, coming up. <laughs> so it was really hard for us to meet, but like during, um, just like, in those last few weeks. Yeah, during the. He had a time, bunch of tests like, to do too. Yeah, yeah during the. Um, not before taking my CNA test and class, you know, everything, be finished with everything. It was really hard to meet up with them, but he would always text me and be like, oh, did you pass this test? Did you do this? Did you do that? I mean, <coughs> I'm not afraid to say this, but I did fail, fail my um, CNA test the first time because I wanted to be a perfectionist. Um, when I took it, like, I ran out of time trying to complete a skill. I passed everything, but, and I just, I feel like I just felt overconfident. and. Um, by the time I got to my last skill, I had two minutes and I just basically thought I lost everything. But I retook it and passed um, the second time. And I also had another temptation, go, trying to go to the testing site. There was this car behind, well, he, didn't, he wasn't really behind me because you know, I did something wrong, but he was just behind me for over 30 minutes. <laughs> so I would have to go slow. And I thought I was gonna be late because when I fell the first time, we contested, um, uh, as a K Tech, because K Tech, um, they needed more than five people to test in that area. But when I went to, I think it's, is it Gardensville? It's like 35 minutes away from here. Yeah, the cop was behind me. And when I went there too, I tried to take the test and they evaluated it. it was like, oh, you, you need two forms of IDs. I had both of them, but she said we couldn't use the one that we used um, previously at school. And we called the teacher. Oh. The teacher was like, I don't see why you can't do it. Cause you know, so it was another problem. Uh -huh. I knew it was up to the evaluators' fault. Well, good thing I had an extra form of ID, and I was able to take the test. And it wasn't easy because a whole lot of people failed basically with that evaluator. But I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna make sure I get the assignment. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for everybody who who supported me and yeah. I talked a lot. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Emacs is a really hard worker, and we could only really meet up one day a week because he needed to study and then he also yeah. used to do the drive through at Wendy's but he's done. Yep. I, ne I never, I always wanted to go and harass him as a, as a customer but I never did. That was one of my temptations that I did not get into. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been awesome to watch him grow and I look forward to seeing what God is forming in the future. Amen. Yeah.